I'm a renal dietitian, and I'm here to tell you that you don't have to eat white rice just because you have kidney disease. This is a myth of the kidney disease nutrition world, and it is an old and outdated recommendation. People used to be told this for two main reasons, because white rice and white refined grain products are low in both potassium and phosphorus. But what more and more research tells us is that the overall dietary pattern of the person is much more important for kidney health than just hyper-focusing on specific nutrients. So getting enough fiber in the diet for both people on dialysis or people with kidney disease that are looking to slow, delay, or prevent the progression of kidney disease, getting enough fiber is so important to help get rid of uremic toxins, to help promote regular bowel movements for heart health and helping with um, blood pressure and preventing cardiovascular events. So you can eat white rice if you have kidney disease, but you don't have to. So let's compare white rice, brown rice, and wild rice. So you can see what I'm talking about here. So for white rice, and we're looking at, you'll see all three of these side by side, we're looking at a half cup cooked portion. So white rice has 0.5 about grams of fiber, 28 milligrams of potassium, and 34 milligrams of phosphorus. Brown rice for the same portion has 1.5 grams of fiber, 87 milligrams of potassium, and 104 milligrams of phosphorus. Wild rice has 1.5 grams of fiber, 83 milligrams of potassium, and about 67 milligrams of phosphorus. So yes, you see both with brown rice and the wild rice, the potassium and phosphorus is higher, but two really important things here. One, we know that the phosphorus from whole grains and other whole plant foods is only absorbed about 50%. So it might say, hey, brown rice has 104 milligrams of phosphorus. You're really only absorbing about half that amount. Um, so the other thing is that we want to keep in mind is that usually the benefit of getting more fiber, and you see white rice um, compared to brown rice and wild rice, the brown rice and wild rice has about three times the amount of fiber. So the, usually the benefit of getting more fiber and a less processed food that's more likely to spike blood sugar um, outweighs getting a little bit more potassium in the diet. Now, none of these options are actually considered to be super high in fiber. There are other whole grain options that are both higher in fiber and have lower amounts of potassium. So things like barley and farro and millet, those are other options as well. But I just wanted you to be able to see side by side, white rice, brown rice, and wild rice. All three are good options if you have kidney disease and at any stage, the portion that you have is really going to depend on what your individual needs are. But this is so important. You don't have to have white white rice, white pasta, white bread, you can, that can also still fit into your kidney protective diet, but don't feel like you have to push out these really beneficial whole grains that contain more fiber just because they have a little bit more potassium and maybe a little bit more phosphorus. I hope that's helpful for, helpful for you guys. Please, if you can like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time.